Greetings, multicasters. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Uh, we're going to focus on a tool tip today, talking about Cisco Commerce Workplace, where you have the ability to create your own quotes or estimates, or you can build up projects in case you're wanting to look to see all the options that are available with those devices you're trying to plan for. Or if you just wanted to kind of see what options are available as you look long term for other projects. Um, with this tool, you're able to create it. You can then share that with your other team members. If they need to add other products, you can then share it with your partners or your Cisco account team, asking them to officially quote it and generate a real quote for you if you're looking to actually pursue and purchase that. Or if you're just wanting to see, hey, this is what I'm thinking, would this work or am I missing something? And you can share it with those teams and they can help you ensure that there's nothing missing or if there was something that's added that doesn't need to be there. But it's a great way to create something that you would want to use and then sharing it with the teams and, lab and then collaborating and trying to move on with your project from there. So with it, we're gonna go ahead and share my screen here. And then for today, we're just going to focus on the Catalyst 9300. When you go to the data sheets, you might have noticed here on the bottom side that there's something mentioned ordering information. The ordering information is just the actual part numbers that you would need as you try and build this inside CCW. And so that gives you the, the actual part number that you're looking for based off the hardware side. Any add-ons you'd want to use, such as network modules, uh, if you needed to add any storage module, or if, and then also the licensing that comes with it. For those that have never used CCW before, you can. I would just go to Google, type in Cisco CCW. It's the, the apps.cisco.com. I'll put the link actually inside the bottom of the page so you can click on it after, after this video. Uh, but then once you click on it, it'll bring you in to the actual site here. Click on login. This will last you for your CCO ID. All right, and I am logged in here with my CCO ID. And so you'll notice I've the top options, some of the, the options you can look at here. We're going to go to estimates. We're going to create an estimate. And then we'll load the actual template for, for creating projects or looking at devices. Up on the top, you'll notice there's an export email clone, delete, add tags. This will come in handy when you want to either share it with other team members or if you want to share it with your account teams or partners to get a, to a quote. For us, since we're, we're looking at the 9300s, we're actually going to copy and paste what we had here on the product number, numbers over into what we're looking for. So you can either copy and paste the model number. You can just start typing in C9300 based off the model and then you can pick what, what you want from here. You just hit add, it'll get dropped down here into your, your options here and you can then start customizing it. So we're gonna click on edit options. And you get the options on the catalogs here on the left that lets you kind of then pick what you would want to do. Uh, for this instance, we're gonna say that we have a stack of switches that we're gonna put out like a branch office. And so we're going to look at top to bottom on the options we have in the catalog here. The first one that comes up is what type of DNA subscription are you going to have? The DNA subscription is the ability to do your software defined access. If you have a DNA center to use that to be able to push uh, templates and do policies to be able to pull assurance information off of that. For us, we're just going to say that we are a DNA center that's doing SDA access. So we're going to keep our premier licensing. Premier then also entitles you to ICE. You then get Stealth Watch. We're going to leave it at the five years. And then ask you what software version you'd want to use. So if you were not ready to jump up to 17.3, if you wanted to stay at 16.12, I'm just going to do with what's default here. Then you get to ask what's your primary power supply. So if you were not one that wasn't doing like ours is doing UPOE, so we're going to go with the full one that's available, but you could change that to what you needed. Or if you were having to do DC power in certain locations. You can then also then change the other options of the, like for your secondary power supply. If you don't need one, you can just hit no. If you have like a spare, or if you already had a whole bunch of extras, otherwise we're gonna go back to the, the other one we had. And then we'll prompt you for your power cables. Uh, if you're in a different country, you can select those. In North America, we'll pick the top one. This is where you can do network modules and it tells you based off kind of what the options are. Again, you can use your data sheets to make an idea of what you were wanting to look at or you can use the descriptions here based off those. Uh, we're gonna go with the 810 gigs, we'll leave that there. You can use the storage drive if you needed to run applications on these devices. For us, we'll say no, we'll skip that. 
If you need console cables that are added, let's say we already have enough of those in our bag, we don't need more. And then this is where, since it's a stack, we're gonna decide off what type of stacking cables we need. We need to be able to put one meter, three meters, half meter. Do we need to also then put in our power stacking cables, what sizes we need? If you didn't need any of those, you always have the option to do none, and then you would just hit done. And because I messed around, yeah, I don't have two. We gotta put the power cables quantity two. So it'll also then tell you, hey, you missed out on uh, like an option or it's not selected. So it's a good job just kind of to give you an FYI of, of something you might have missed. And so since we have a stack, let's say we're gonna do four, you just update the quantity. And again, this is all list price. This is not officially any real number other than what's listed in CCW. Always submit this off to your account team or to your partner to get the like a true official quote if you're looking for budgetary numbers. But if you wanted to do that, best to do is you share, and then you would just type in username or the email address of who you're wanting, read only, or let them have read write and hit add. So great way to share with your team if they want to add things to a project or to your partners or account team. So with that, hopefully it's a nice introduction. I hope enjoy working in CCW and I hope this helps with your projects. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you.